Hi Aquarius, this reading is for uh, the middle of December 2018. Um, I was going to finish the rest of my December readings and um, I just asked the cards what sign needed to be done next and the star card came out. Of course I've already done the, the beginning of December so I have to do the mid-December so um, here we are. So Aquarius, some of you need to communicate clearly about what it is you want in a situation. Um, some of you just going along to get along or just making secret plans in your mind um, and not really voicing them. Some of you have a partner that you're holding back from. They may be holding back from you. It's still a very close, loving connection, but there's still some things that needs to be communicated. Um, some of you are waiting for money to come in. It was, some of you have like a business idea you want to put energy and effort and time into. This will be good for you. Some of you, it's like a spiritual practice or it's something to do with creativity and art and the arts and things of those nature. So I think it, it'll be good for you if you go ahead and start that. success is here some of you um so you know that another person has another person that you begin to like premonitions and dreams in regards to maybe this other person and what's going on with them uh like like some conversations are coming to you you're not even in the same room or in the same vicinity as that person the conversation is about their situation. Somebody wants to talk to you. So they're talking to you. It may sound crazy to some of you. They're talking to you telepathically. It's for you to pick it up and listen to it. Some of you are just missing it. Because you, you're either done with this person. Or you want to be done with this person. Yeah. This person misses you dearly, but don't see a lot of change in what they need to do to actually offer you what it is you, you, you may want or need. There might be some promotion at work, or you're just getting recognition for you know a job well done and so forth. Some people are jealous. Some people will be jealous of you because like, I'm here like come back queen or come back king. Like something completely shifts for you. And people are um, wondering how. Sometimes what I've been hearing lately is that, you know, sometimes God, a higher being, universal being, has to put you in a place where he, he or she strips you down. And put you in the midst of everyone looking at you and watching you so that he can then bring important blessings from the universe so that everyone can be amazed jealous uh, but amazed at um, how the universe favors you it's almost as if he wants to bless some of you in the open don't know who that's for bless bless in the open and not you know, behind closed doors to where people don't know that it was it was God, the universe, bringing this in for you. Somebody wants to talk to you. I just keep hearing that. Somebody wants to talk to you. Let's see what the cards say. I'm going to pick these up. Okay, Aquarius, and we're back with the cards. So let's see. At the bottom of the deck for the Gilded Sorrow, I believe, um, we have the Nine of Wands. Someone is um, or has been in a stressful situation. They've kind of energetically and maybe even physically moved away from the drama, the turmoil, the trouble in a relationship. 
maybe due to jealousy or greed or whatever they've moved away from it and now they're evaluating do I want to go back go back or do I go forward which would be the ten of wands and just release what I feel is burdensome for me this could be in any aspect of your life job relationship family dynamic whatever whatever has caused you drama stress strain you are trying to evaluate if you even want to go backwards you know if you want to go back into that some of you have dealt with some really some health issues you've been out for the count you've been down but this says even with the health problems you've still been active like you haven't been rest resting you're not resting Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, Temperance, Two of Pentacles. Okay. Hang on. Okay, Aquarius. Uh, so we have the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands, Temperance, Two of Pentacles. So it looks like good things are happening even without you doing much. You're staying uh, con consistent in knowing that if, if you just do all that you can do in the physical realm of things, of life, that the spiritual will meet you and, and things will change for you. Your fortune will change. Um, it's almost being connected to spirit, being connected to yourself, having rule, re regimen, control over yourself and your life, getting under some spiritual guidance, maybe by way of a counselor, pastor, tarot card reader, any, anyone who's giving you guidance, so then that you live your life by that and it looks like things are changing for you, with you now um being under the guise of the hierophant or you are the hierophant you there's there's the values there's moral there's rule there's regimen there's i do this on this day and that and that and i continue to maintain in, in that manner so things are changing for me in a good way queen of wands and the tippers once again somebody's communicating telepathically look at that the queen of wands is the Queen of Wands is all about um, the esoteric. Um, she's very intuitive. Somebody is speaking to you. This is a person at a distance. Like this isn't somebody down the street from you. Or even if they are down the street from you, you guys are not seeing each other regularly. You guys are not in communication. So someone... Is speaking to you telepathically wants to have an intimate conversation with you you Aquarius woman you want to be a married woman you want a family a life a married life of your own you want to have an intimate conversation with someone uh, you're doing so through dreams and through con like conversation this person or you you're saying something to the other person it's it's weird it's weird but it's here like I said, in the shells, it's like somebody speaking telepathically. Uh, two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are definitely juggling. You, you're trying to keep everything up and, and not drop anything. You've got a lot going on here. Whether it's work, uh, home, children, school, extracurricular things that you do. You're really trying to juggle here. As long as you just can you can do this but for how long is it? that's the question always here with the two of pentacles of course this could speak of somebody juggling you it could be love i really feel like aquarius is getting to a place where you're kind of shifting away from having that typical love reading of um you know this person is cheating this person is lying this person is this and that you know because Aquarius is finally getting it. This person or Aquarius, wh whichever side you lie on, it's not changing. So the only change, so it's not changing, so Aquarius changes. 
and it looks like Aquarius really shifts energy and focus on Aquarius um, on the things the task at hand what they need to do for themselves either it's entrepreneurship um, juggling homework school creative ideas yes someone wants to communicate with you because you walked away because there was problems there was juggling there was someone not being honest there was someone being um there was jealousy there was deceit there was lies uh you walked away it was too much and you had so much to deal with okay so at the bottom of the angel answers deck is wait and we do have tempers wait for perfect timing um to release maybe some of the responsibilities the task at hand let's see wow this came out of the deck off camera success it and it just looks like it, it looks like you you stay consistent in what you're doing and uh you move forward success let go you did that with the nine of wands it looks like some of you decided to just remove yourself from a situation and focus on aquarius let go or if you have not done that then that's the advice for you let go be assertive didn't we talk about that in the shell like some of you need to speak your truth communicate clearly be assertive about some of you wanting to be a wife wanting to be a mother uh, wanting to have a family be assertive about that and don't don't cower to that if someone finds it funny then that's not a person for you if someone finds it laughable like I'm hearing that somebody's laughing at what you want this is not the person for you or are you doing that wow 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 Aquarius last card abundance yay Aquarius you're doing very very well this is a the best reading ever none of that energy of you know this person is lying they're cheating there's a secret woman secret man even if that's going on in your life I feel like Aquarius has to kind of like just walked away from it and said I'm gonna focus on me because it's the only thing I can't control is me and the only thing that changes people is change and it looks like Aquarius is changing and there's somebody who really sees the change you're very attracted to them and they want to communicate with you and they're communicating telepathically with you and maybe through dreams and all that stuff so what we're going to do is open this reading up over at the website you, you guys know it's always one dollar seventy five cent to especially about this communication somebody wanting to communicate with you let's see who that person is um we really want to associate um signs to the major arcana it could be anybody um and then we'll open up and clarify the angel answers cards which are very very good okay aquarius know that i am praying for you nothing but the highest prayers to the one true living god continue to pray for me also happy holidays purchase merchandise below if you feel moved to know that you'll receive a free five minute reading if you do so we have gift cards over at the website also fifty dollar uh gift card gets you a free uh five minute reading with me take advantage of that uh, all information is below. Thank you. Take care, guys.